Hello everyone. Welcome to the course on advanced contracts, tendering and public procurement. This is a 12 weeks course offered on NPTEL platform and this is a course offered from the faculty at the National Law School of India University, Bengaluru. We have been uh, teaching, researching, training in contracts for over two decades right now. And all of us will appreciate and understand the numerous contracts that we enter into on a day-to-day -day basis. To be frank, friends, we enter into contracts right from the time that we wake up in the morning when we buy milk to make tea, to the time that we procure newspaper, to the time that we use public transport, to the time that we get employed with our employers. Maybe buying a house, buying an automobile, buying luxury products for our home, to several other kinds of contract that we may enter from our day-to-day -day activity. Contracts is central to what we call as the law of obligations. Interesting difference, the law in India on contracts is the British law called the Indian Contract Act 1872, followed with legislations like the Sale of Goods Act of 1930, the Specific Relief Act of 1963, which was quite significantly amended in 2018, and so on and so forth. Understanding the law of contract only makes us prepare ourselves for better contracts. Like very often we say, a good contract gives you good profit, a bad contract probably creates losses. What's interesting friends is that while contracts are a core subject in legal education, thanks to globalization, privatization and liberalization post-1991, the dimension of contracts has gone beyond territorial borders. Today, the interesting part is contracts are no longer very simple documents. They are quite complex legal documents. International contracts can also give you the challenges between, say, the common law contract to what we call as the civil law countries contracts. International contracts have also added the dimension of introducing arbitration as an alternate form of dispute resolution and arbitration clauses become very common in modern day contracts. So the complexities of the contracts are increasing. Transnationalization of contracts has added to the impetus of understanding the law on contracts. Today global trade is the norm. Indian businesses are moving to international frontiers. More importantly, friends, what you will appreciate is that government tendering and public procurement is a critical component because the government happens to be probably one of the biggest business entities in this country. And when I say government, it's not the departments and the ministries of central and state that are alone involved in the law of tendering. It is including the public sector undertakings, the government companies, the state government entities, the probably, if you look at it, the public sector banks, and so on and so forth, that are actually entering into contract on a day to day basis. Just take the instance of highway sector, where you have so many public private partnership contracts. The new dimension of what we call as government contract is already here. From Public-private contracts, we have gone to EPC contract, which is called the Engineering Procurement uh, and Construction Contracts. So the dimension of government contracting is also undergoing some transformation. Understanding the law on tendering and public procurement also is very, very critical as we go forward. Thanks probably to what we would want to call as the CAG guidelines on public procurement, the CBC guidelines on public procurement, the general finance regulations that have been issued, and most importantly, friends, 
the Supreme Court and High Court judgments that have intervened in such kinds of contract on a time to time basis. Friends, what is exciting in advanced contracts is that we have looked at new dimensions, the dimensions of what we would call as franchisee contracts, the dimension of joint venture agreements, the dimension of uh, joint development. So there are several new dimensions in contracts that have come into place. For example, while we talk about modern day contracts, someone would want to have what is known as an escrow agent clause. What is fascinating for all of us to also appreciate in this course is the fact that you may come across standard forms of contract and electronic contract. Today, most of us will appreciate that tendering is e-tendering. And hence, friends, with the purpose of understanding modern day contracts, with the purpose of understanding an advanced level of appreciating contracts, tendering and public procurement, we here, Team CIRA, have come up with this 12 week course uh, that is being offered on the NVDL platform. Friends, the division of the course is something like this. The first four weeks, we will understand the basics of contract law. We will understand the formation of contract, the breach and the remedies of a contract. The second four weeks, we will dedicate ourselves in understanding special contracts like bailment, pledge, indemnity and guarantee, maybe a little bit on franchise and joint venture as applicable to government contracts. And the last four weeks, we will focus on tendering and public procurement. Don't forget that this course will also get into drafting of government contracts. It will talk about evaluation and the challenges of drafting, say, a purchase policy, uh, an agreement, and also looking at the evaluation of EL1 in government tendering and public procurement. We hope from this course, the learners will actually gain a deep, in-depth understanding of contract making and also contract adjudication. Welcome to the course.